Juggalo collectibles is the shit. You know what I'm saying? It's ICP and Kid Rock concert and ICP and Esham concert, but there was never us all three together. It would have been epic, man. Yeah. I remember uh, this song was recorded at Laura Grab's house that Michael was working out of the basement. You know, Rhythmatic. It, yeah, it, yeah, in Ferndale, right there by those train tracks. And, uh, and uh, I remember, the the because this is a couple sessions where this shit happened or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because he came back in to redo some shit or something like that. But I just remember, like, off rip, you know, because we, we, this is the first time we knew him, you know what I'm saying? After that, you know, we started going to his house a little bit and shit. Right. And I remember off rip just being like, oh, what a fucking asshole. Because just stand out front after the session, because of course they got drunk as shit during the session, you know what I'm saying? So he was just standing there in the driveway, just pissing all over the place. You talking know? about Kid Rock? Yes. Yeah, well, and I, I remember I, I was hot when I seen him because I had that haircut. I didn't even know who the fuck Kid Rock was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Think about Kid, let's go to the Is That You With Kid Rock. The thing about this song is um, I give Kid Rock credit because, yeah, when he came to the studio to do the song, they got drunk, but he came back. Oh, yeah, he did. He came, he back, came back the next and day did. and was like, man, let me redo my shit, you know? Now, I, I, let's listen to a second, because I would like to talk about him just a tiny bit more, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. But that's all I had to say. And I remember the other thing was we did all these beats. We we told Mike exactly what we wanted. Mike would do yeah, the actual beat, them. like the yeah. drum pattern. But basically the bass line or whatever the main sample was, we came up with ahead of time. But I remember Kid Rock said, told Mike, I'll do the song with ICP if you do the track. Mike. Yeah, yeah. And that's and why this one's so much like, more like, it's different. Yeah, it is. It's like more funky, I guess you could say. What this is the for, track we did. My, this is the first Mike Clark solo track yeah, that we produced. rapped on without our involvement in yeah, the creation right, of the never, music. Yeah. We, we, we bought the beat off Mike, and that's the only way we could get Kid Rock. And I remember Kid Rock said... When we approached Kid Rock, we said, hey, man, we got Esham on the record. We want to get you on it, too. He said, how much did Esham do it for? And we said, 500 bucks. Why didn't we lie? It should have been like 250. No, because, said, because we wanted to fucking get him. That's we why. We said 500 bucks, and Kid Rock said, I'll do it for six. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Should have been like $150. Be like, I'd do it for 250 But, yeah, what were you going to say about but it? But I, I also want to say is, uh, and I got, I got to say this because, because I don't like Kid Rock, you know what I'm saying? I think he's a racist piece of shit. That's me personally. If you don't, whatever the fuck. But I can't knock his hustle back in the day. You know what I'm saying? His hustle was immaculate. When he got kicked off of Jive Records, you know what I'm saying? He grinded like a motherfucker to, to get where he was. You know what I'm saying? And so whether I like him or not ain't a fucking factor. You know what I'm saying? Because he did grind, but personally, I, I can't stand him. But... You know what I'm saying? Uh, but he was a different guy back then. He was just, you know, always whatever the fuck. But, uh, yeah, that was, uh, th th them were like, I've, they, we just never recorded like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So that was, it, that always stick it out of my mind is like a, a weird We never got session, drunk in the you know studio. We still don't play that shit, man. It's we don't... funny because like, it, it's like we work with people, you know, it's just like they'll come in. I'm just like, yo, this, it's like you, you think studios, like, like uh, old school Biggie footage. Of the studio, you know, they're probably like, that wasn't like that every day out of me. You right. know what I'm saying? That's why they show the footage, because it was fucking hype then, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, yeah, you know, we're here to work, man. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do for a living. I still don't understand why people drink in the studio, man. It sounds You're sloppy, not on top of your game, top notch when you're drinking well, in the people studio. Think it makes no out. fucking sense, you know? People get braver and shit. I'm not with drinking before a concert, during a concert. We, we never been with any of that shit. We still don't fuck with that shit. Yeah. And, and um, it don't make no sense to, uh, get all inebriated up in the studio because you're trying to do your best, you know? Yeah, I, I don't look at the studio as a party. I look at it as work, you know what I'm saying? It's like what I do for a living. I take that shit mad serious, you know? No doubt. But um, to Kid Rock's credit, he did come back the next day and redo his cuts and his verse, and, and he did a good job, you know what I'm saying? We kind of dissed each other on that, on that record, though. Yeah. And we addressed it years later. He, um, I say on the song... I say, um, something, motherfucker. Remember, I say, um. I just did, mother. I, yeah, because he said motherfucker, and you came back with a motherfucker. He said, I just did, motherfucker. Yeah, I say, like I that. just did, motherfucker. Uh, he said that, and then you and said he, something. And he said something, too. Yeah, he said that. that anyway, we kind of took a jab at each other on it. But, um, 
I don't even know what the fucking song's about, honestly. It's about nothing. It's like a freestyle, pretty much. Yeah. But I, I remember after uh, Fuck Off came out, I won't mix no rap like rock and roll like somebody else I know. I remember that's when Kid Rock was doing his little bootleg series or whatever the fuck. And he us on it. Yeah, and then, so we were at the Magic Bag, and he was doing a show that, God, I remember his crew was so fucking cool and awesome. His brother was all cool, but he was just always like, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. But I, I remember him, like, sitting down in the theater with us, be like, so is that about me or whatever the fuck? And we were just like, nope. <laughs> and he was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was like that, that was one million percent. Well, he had his, yeah. his uh, every month he came out with another EP. Yeah, he called it his, his bootleg. Tape. He called it bootleg series. And every month he had another EP out. And inside one of the credits of the EP that came out, it had a poem. And in the poem, he said, you drink fago like pussies. I drink 40s of beer, you know. And we were like, oh, yeah. hey, bitch. Yeah. You know, and, and well, that's why we rap said, like um, rock and roll. Yeah. yeah it, it, I don't <laughs> mix rap with rock and roll like somebody else I know. <laughs> bitch, boy, you, you can, can suck, suck my sack. sack. And after, after that, that, you, you can kiss lick my, my ass crack. crack. So fresh, man. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so um, we were proud to get him on the record. But no, we never... Never were the same type of dude. With Isham, we did serious hanging out. Yeah, no doubt. Never hung out with Kid Rock. We'd no. go over there, pick his brain a little bit. He would pick ours, and Bounce. we'd be gone. Yeah, you know, no and doubt. And that, and that fizzled pretty quick. And I remember when he came to do the show with us at the Ritz. You remember that? When he came and do it. He took up. this song, Is That You, and he remixed it. He did, like, his own remix on it, right? We gave him the, the, the tracks. He did his own remix, And he came cool. out and did it? He came out to I do it, remember but that. it was sold out at the Ritz. Of course, and he yeah, was we were nervous. So and I remember him taking that bottle of Jack Daniels. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we said, "You want anything in the dressing room?" He said, "Yeah, Jack Daniels." Yeah. He came and he was nervous. Yeah. He took that fucking Jack Daniels to the dome. Mm -hmm. And then ran out on stage and did his shit, you know. And uh, we turned it out though, man. It was cool. Yeah. Um. I don't. I don't remember him going. I do a little bit because I remember him getting fucked up before him. But I also remember everybody getting fucked up before. Yeah, he did <laughs> um, he did a remix to Is That You. I'd like to hear it now. Yeah, right?